Do you know whose inscription this is? G'day everyone, Brian here. The stories that Jesus is going to be asked are confronting, or they might be confronting to you and me, but Jesus seems to answer them really well. And he's able to turn the question back on the people who are asking. The first of them is about paying taxes. We see the Pharisees and the Herodians who want to trick Jesus. They want to catch him in his words. And so they come to him and they, they butter him up. Oh, we know you're a good man. You're, you're not interested in the response of others. You just want to teach the truth. So tell us, should we pay taxes to Caesar or not? What do you think we should do? Jesus turns it back on them and really says, why are you trying to trap me? Give me a coin. And so someone gives him a coin, a denarius. He takes it and says, whose inscription is on here? Well, Caesar's, they say. We would say Queen Elizabeth's. Caesar. And he says, so give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is God's. Now, in the Christian church, we've often used this story to rightly talk about paying taxes. Should Christians pay taxes? It's kind of one of those questions which is both, well, why would you even think that? But it's also a good question to ask, should we pay taxes? If our government is wicked and uh, immoral, should we pay taxes? If our money is being used for bad things, should we be paying our taxes? Now, I think, yes, we should be paying our taxes. There might be some things the government's doing with that that I don't particularly like, but everything else they're doing is great. And it gets difficult to which bit is good and bad. Anyway, pay your taxes. But that's not the ultimate point. The ultimate point is when Jesus says, and give to God what is God's. For these men who had come to him, it's not about paying taxes. It's about tricking Jesus into saying something he shouldn't. But it's also revealing their heart is not with God. Is yours? Are you giving to God what is God's? I'm not talking about money here. I'm talking about your own soul, your own life, your own future, your own desires to give them to God. For he has given everything to you. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Give to the government what is the government's. But give to God what is God's, for that is the greater thing. Enjoy your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.